Tesco's beer reviews, Aim you text. Okay, this beer is uh, brewed and canned in Western Australia by the Swan Brewery, uh, which is owned by Lion, who are owned by Kieran um, of Japan. Now, this beer uh, was first brewed back in uh, 1954. It's now the flagship beer for the EMU range of beers. Um, it comes in at 4.4% ABV. I believe it used to be higher than that, but uh, like a lot of lagers in Australia, it's slowly been cut back. So it's 4.4%, and it comes in this uh, yeah, red 375 mil can. If you're wondering where I got this from, it's from uh, Dan Murphy's. Go on the website. I think it's saying like nearly $34 a carton for for 30, sorry, for a cube of cans. Uh, it cost me $12 for freight, so. Uh, about 46 bucks, it's the same price you normally pay for like uh, 30 you know, cubes of uh, 30 cube can pack of uh, two is new. So, anyway, uh, let's crack it open. This beer is affectionately known. Oh, good crack. Typical, uh, these lion beers, they all crack. Forex bitter, two is, they all do it. Uh, affectionately known, this beer is uh, I mean, the red can export. Heaps of nicknames. Uh, I'm just going to pour it in to me Chet Pills glass. And this is the first time I'm trying it. I uh, just got open bowling, had something to eat, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, so I've never seen this on the East Coast. I think it may have been back in the day, but hasn't been lately. Well, I've been drinking beer. So the appearance, yeah, typical golden, uh, very clear, uh, medium-sized carbonation bubbles. You've got a nice one finger of uh, soapy sudsy head. It um, yeah, now looks like a typical Aussie lager. Okay, the nose, yeah. Got the adjuncts coming through. Typical of the smell of Forex Bitter to his new. Anyway, uh, the taste. Jeez. Very Australian lager like in the flavour. Um, I'd say it's a uh, a cane sugar uh, used as the adjunct in this beer. It's a bit more bitter on the back end. The malt flavour to it, you have two E's. Uh, two weeks for a bit of Swan, West End in South Australia. Um, it's not, yeah, I'd say it's Prada Ringwood bittered. It's got that Prada Ringwood flavour to it. It's a uh, Australian uh, adjunct lager. If you like the style, you'll like this. It's got um, pretty dry, the pretty dry the end there, and it, maybe like I said, a bit more bitterness in this beer. This is ice cold, and it's going down pretty smooth. It does finish pretty crisp at the back end. All in all, I would say it's like a well beaten beer. Uh, it's just another decent, solid session beer. A beer you can get smashed on, or a beer you can have one or two and go to bed and be sensible. But, uh, um, pretty much can't describe it anymore. If you like bulbs, two E's, Forex, bitter. If you're a VB drinker, West End. Swan, your drinks of Australian adjunct lager.
fits the style. That's what it is. Um, it's easy drinking. And uh, so score for Emu Export. Oh, happy to give it a solid B. I think it deserves that. Uh, for the um, style, it's not too bad. B for export. Okay, thanks for watching this episode of Jez Brew Views. Till next time, take care, and I'll see you all later.